Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. We're back. To our subscriber, thank you for thank being you. a loyal subscriber. Thank you for liking our video, sharing our video. If you aren't subscribed to our channel, just please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the all bell notification so that way you get updated updates on every time we post a video. All right, so we are going to get into the topic. Tonight, we are going to be talking about what did Nigerian artists do for their music to be number one in Africa, which it is, mm -hmm. and we are going to talk about it. Yeah. So, ladies, yes. let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. What did Nigerian artists do for their music to be number one in Africa? Mm. For me, I think Nigerian music... Um, it's number one in Africa because they make it that everyone can understand their music. Mm. You know, they are not speaking like if they speak, if they put a data in it, they just like some word. It's some they word, you know? Understand. Yes. That's true. You know, and their English. People understand. People understand their English. And of course, Nigeria is huge. Yeah. They are very supportive too. The drones are supported. And if you are not a market itself. Yeah. I was gonna say market because I don't think about the language thing, even though they do speak English, but most of sometimes the music they will speak like their um, native tongue. Mm -hmm. and then let's say like how do speak like you while all those people like you or something like that mm -hmm. but it's so they still embrace their culture at the same time still making the music for everybody to enjoy right and i feel like due to their population mm -hmm. um there are a lot of people in nigeria even if let's just say besides the other besides other african country and um have their Nigerian music have been like overboard and everywhere. Mm -hmm. Besides it being like that, if it's just for Nigeria, they will still be popular because they have a lot of uh, population there that can support their their musician. If you go to Nigeria, you're not gonna be here like um what's the thing called? You're not gonna hear Ghanaian music. No. You're not gonna hear another African music. You can probably hear it, but it won't be as often as you hear that's Nigerian true. music on their radio. Right. I think that's one of the main reasons. I think the population for Nigeria is about 215 now million yeah, people. Million, yeah. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna put a fact check down, but definitely Nigeria, the Nigerians are a lot. And yeah, uh, 215 million. Over 215 million citizens. Yes. And also, I feel like Nigerian music, like their artists, have become more popular because of their consistency. Yeah, that's true. Like, that's so true. They're yeah. very consistent with what putting out new music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a ton of their artists that if they don't put out an album, they're putting out a single every year, yeah. right. multiple singles every yeah. year. Like, right. For so, what? Consistency is also a good, it, it makes their music where it got popular True. over Africa because once upon a time, I don't believe Nigerian music mm. was number one in Africa. Right. It was Aberrant. Yes, yes. Aberrant music, but um, I don't know. It's like Nigerian, this is like I said, the... the the but it has to do with the language thing too. Mm -hmm. Like I learned music, it was great. The beat was awesome. You could get up and dance, and it'll put you in that dancing mode. Right. But we couldn't under. I couldn't understand what they were saying. Like no. even up to this day, my favorite um Ivorian artist. I don't know what the heck they're saying. I right. Just, and then I was kind of like speak the French they speak it right. without knowing what exactly they're mm -hmm, saying. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I feel like um, consistency really did have a lot to do with it. And also Nigerian, they are very competitive people. They are. And they're 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 hungry they're, to be successful. And yes. They are, yeah, they are very yes. competitive people. They're. I really, they're, I, they're very competitive and they want to be the best yes. amongst all, like yes. not just in their country, globally, everything, continent, man. continent of Africa and global, yeah. they really just, they thrive to be number one in everything they do. Like what Min said, they are hungry. Yes. And these people, if they are a content creator, they go all out and put their all in. Mm -hmm. If it's YouTuber, oh my goodness. 
They do it to the extent, you know, music, that is true. They are hungry. They are hungry for yes, success. For success, that's the thing. And I think that's why we now, the, the other African countries need to learn from Nigerians. They're hungry for success. And when Nigerians say they're doing this, they will do it and they will do it to the best of their ability. Even if they have to be for one nine, they'll be for one nine to the best of their abilities. But the that's people, true. Yeah, the people do that. They, I mean, they do their abilities. They're... That's true. This article, they also said that Nigerian music show 30% of the country yeah. Grammys, um, BET Awards, like, the people that thrive for the best. Yeah, and we'll talk about besides that too, they have to have, like, people behind them, like, labels. Yes. Marketing strategy. Yeah, mm -hmm. they have good marketing strategies. They so, do. let's say if you're a rock, they're a singer, they will have their own YouTube content where their um, so, fans, their yeah. fans can go watch it. Even if they don't want to stream it on like Apple Music and things like that, they can also watch it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Watching it on YouTube also give them view. It also give them money coming into their thing. So regardless of how many times you watch it, you. They're still get, getting revenue from that. Look at TikTok. These people, Nigerian music is 24 7 on TikTok. And, also, and everybody pop to it. And also, this article says that Nigerian music industry has the highest number of major labels mm -hmm. in Africa. Yeah. Wow. So it's like they are doing a whole lot more than other African countries countries are doing. Mm -hmm. So it shows. It shows they've been working hard, and over the year it has shown. Yeah, have shown. yeah. few African artists in other African countries are trying. Ghana we got a few from there. I think pretty much those are for Nigerian music. Just so, it surpasses everything. That's it. Like this. And people, also they interact with their fans. Mm -hmm. Yes. They connect with their fans. Yeah. And the people that set the standard too. If a Nigerian artist is coming here, it says it's Nigerian. Nigerian have the highest internet access compared to other African people. Mm -hmm. Always on the they're internet. Always on social media. They're always on social media. They're always posting. They're always being interactive with each other. Yeah. It says. Most artists are able to connect with people, build relationships with fans, and even face criticism, mm -hmm. which give them the occasion to change or stick to their style of music that's and true. find more audience. That's true, that's true. But social media is the thing now. It's the best way to market yourself. And I think other African countries, they have to get on that because Nigerian, like the, the people in front. Yeah, Nigerian is very yeah. ahead. Far ahead, yeah. you know? And um, that's the thing if you're trying to compare, and that's why one thing we can talk about our 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 you know, our Liberian industry as well, because we are not doing that. We also said Nigerian they are not divided. Those these people like we got it the 200 million, some more plus million people, but the people they support each other, y'all. Yeah, and also to Nigerian artists like Wizkid. Mm -hmm. I can go on and see like every year Wizkid if he's not dropping it's like he drop an album every year Yeah. Mm -hmm. some artists aren't doing that That's if he don't drop an album he's dropping a song David Doe does the same thing mm -hmm. if David Doe don't drop an album with in a year he's either got a single out he got um collaboration with yeah. other artists and there and then also Nigerian artists to me are more like the collab more with like other American uh -huh. artists or other foreign artists that said not just people from their country. Mm -hmm. Burna Boy does the same thing. Right, right. And then even your newer artists. They I really like you. come out and it's like bang, 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 and I don't see other African art, African, other African musician doing that no, except no, like no. um Nigerian. So yeah, even like it, Yemi, it really Yemi Holiday, she like she always putting out song. Yemi Holiday, yeah, they mm -hmm. always put she out is a always putting out song. Like yeah. she can, even is one song she will have to put her music out. Yeah, yeah, and that's what it is consistency. They're consistent. They there stay are, true to themselves. And people, there are people are they supportive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. people are very supportive. And they they have good management skill and the manager and the managing team are good. Yeah. yeah. So the team, they they know that their team is for everybody. It's like I'm the artist. If 
my marketing team support me. Mm -hmm. We all we once we support me, we all eat together. Yeah, yeah. You know these people, um, Nigerian. They do copy some African country that style that they dance. Do, they do. But then people were taking them, put it into their own. It's like boom. They get inspired. Yeah. Yes. I won't say copy. They get inspired. Yeah. By other music, other African music, uh, and then they make it into their Girl. own. Like they use South African beat all the time, but it's still you know no South African. Yeah. It's it yeah. It's the Nigerian vibe. It does. Song, it does. So. It does. Like yeah, I feel like Nigerians. They've been doing really good. They should continue. But other Africans. Musician needs to learn, yeah. like whatever their playbook is, they need to like get onto that playbook. Yeah, and as the thing is, especially let's say if another um like David he collab with a lot of people, mm -hmm. yeah. he's always there to help people. So if somebody like David will come to me and, and I have the opportunity to talk to that person, mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask them like, what make you who you are right now? What Steps have you taken? Yeah, like I said, they need to copy off of their playbook. Yeah, they should have said like, if I meet somebody like that, I want to ask them what they have, um, like how they make it. So meaning like, can you show me? I prefer you showing me instead of me like just not asking questions mm -hmm. and then just like that. And I feel like we, oh, anyway. I mean, to be honest, success looks success looks different for somebody. Because even though somebody is showing you mm -hmm. what they are doing or how they do it, that doesn't mean you're gonna get the same um the same results. I understand. Yeah, me and you could do something the same way, but we both are gonna get different results. I yeah, but what me is trying to say is I I mean intro. You tell me Vicky I did this. These are my strategies. You can take it and put it into your own. You yes. don't have to do the same thing yes. that I'm doing. Yeah. That's why I make time, that. That's why I'm talking, yeah, that's, yeah. Even though you are, you did it different and you showing me and I could do it differently, but but, mm -hmm. but in being inspired by you, right? Even though your success will be different from mine, but at the same time, I will still be successful. Mm -hmm. And that's how Nigerian are like. They help each other out. Yeah. You know, I want to feed. They don't really care what you did, just tell them. They'll tell them. And they will go do it. They're not lazy anyway. No. They are not lazy people. No. These people when they're doing something, they're consistent. They see the way you, you be telling me like, you know, Vicky, you're not consistent, you know, like our Tata stuff, you be like, you have to be consistent, we get so lazy. Um, I think it's also you have to put in your mind, you're really hungry for it. Yeah. It go back to hungry. Nigerians be hungry for it and they do it. Then. Or because if you're hungry, <laughs> you'll do anything to get food to eat. Mm -hmm. That's true. So that's why the people are so successful. And no African country compared to them right now. Yeah. When it comes to the, the, the industry, food. movie, they are there. Music, they are there. Content creator, they are there. Like much entertainment. Entertainment. And the people like they wear up the necking that with Americans. And right now, I don't take that there are more that music is like you flip. I think you, you swap up. Like your music swap. And everybody vibe to it. And Doesn't also, matter your color of your skin. And also another thing they are written like the um the article was talking about social media connection too. Mm -hmm. They're also talking about like on TikTok, they go ahead and post their music so people can use their music, yes. their music get popular when when you post your song on TikTok and you keep it on there, you go to Instagram, post it or put it on Instagram, yeah. Facebook, yeah. put it on Facebook, Facebook, Snapchat, put it on Snapchat. If you put it on all these um social media platforms, mm -hmm. people can use these music in their content, in yes. their background, it grows population, like people start hearing it. Yeah. That's how their music is able to get to Globally, that's how it's able to get global because all of these social media platforms are global. People mm -hmm. all around the world see them. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. I mean, we, we are proud of them. Very. Very. Because everybody proud of them. Yeah, the music, but we'll also talk about the people that are back behind them. 
Mm. So I feel like their management, their management, their PR, yeah, their team, PR team, all of those people don't play an important part. Whoever take care of their social media, it goes. Down oh to yes. They, whoever interacting on their social media, they it's not that they're doing it themselves. They have a whole team, a team behind them, right? A team that can I, support it. Right, right. You know, before Nigerian music started blowing, you remember um. The first two Nigerian artists that came to the US to collaborate with the US um, artists were P Square. Mm. As soon as they went by, they looked at they saw how the US do stuff, the you, you know, music with the management thing. Every Nigerian artist now, like, they start, they start, they start, they start so it, it go back to how you do it, they see it, they go, they, they put it into work, yeah. and then they put a source to it. And I think it's just simple as it is. The other, if any African, the other African country, if you want to grow your entertainment industry, I think people gotta start going to Nigeria to see how the people do it. Or just do with their playbook, Nigerian. Yeah. They offer. They, yeah, they just put their sauce away. They, they come, they, they got they some can, of their influence, influence from, here. from America. Mm-hmm. See how they did, what they did, because I know. At some point in time, Nigerian music was. There wasn't, the yeah. So right. They, you go outside of your country to learn. You learn things. You bring it back to your country to make it successful. See what other p- successful people are doing, yeah. and you come back and do the same thing. Right. That's, yeah, that's about it. Okay, guys. So that's it for this conversation. It was great. It we I, we um like to shine light on Africa and. Africa to the world, or yes. whatever, whatever, all things Africa, I yeah. think is like a good topic. Mm-hmm. And so, next week, the conversation is Nigeria. Nigeria. Right so, next week, we are still talking about industry, but we are going to talk about Liberian industry, music industry. So, for right now, that's all we got to talk about. So, guys, we are going to sip and talk, talk about, about it. it.